So I thought I would run this um, or, or record this as soon after the webinar as possible so you didn't think I'd spent hours putting together some carefully edited demonstration. Um, I'm going to just hit record again on the, uh, or dictate rather, on this is Microsoft Word Online. And if I do that, you should start seeing that it's beginning to transcribe what I'm saying. And it's doing a reasonably good job, as I think I um, demonstrated in the webinar. It's not so much the speech that it struggles with, but it was the commands that I was giving it. So we'll try and keep this relatively simple. Full stop. New paragraph. Now, one of the things I wanted to demonstrate was that for people who may struggle um, with reading and writing, um, homophones, so words that are built differently but sound the same, um, are often quite a challenge. And there was a sentence that I was going to use to demonstrate this. Full stop. New paragraph. They're not sending their cat over there, are they? So just pause the dictation there. Um, so you can see it's it's done a reasonably good job um, of, well, a very good job of taking that sentence in context and picking out the correct homophones. Now, I'm going to try a couple of other things. Uh, this is where the um, demonstration really did go a little bit off the rails, but it's around formatting um, and the commands that I'm using there. New paragraph. Bold. So I'm hoping now this is going to add bolding to the text that it's showing on screen. New paragraph. Bold. And that should now have turned it off. So it's a toggle on and off. Underline. And the same is true for formatting like underline underline. Select turned. Underline. Bold. So uh, reasonably good at actually picking up what I was saying there. Um, I guess part of it being that, you know, it's, it's a more controlled environment now. I'm not trying to do everything on a timer. Uh, so maybe my speech is a little clearer, uh, a little more kind of slowed down. Um, one last thing I am going to try. This really was hit and miss because this is about the speed at which you connect the commands. So I am going to try this. And that is for anybody who's ever used comments in a um, document. I'm going to try and add a comment using just this speech. Add comment. Look at this tomorrow. I'm going to leave it there on that one. 